What is the best camera for professional real estate photographers? There are so many cameras out there. So what do you look for? What's gonna shoot the best? It's almost a level playing field nowadays. A few years ago, when I picked my favorite camera, it was a difference between Canon Nikon not having mirrorless and Sony having mirrorless. Sony excelled at everything in their books. They were a leader at the time, and now Nikon and Canon have had to catch up and other manufacturers, and they have caught up. So can you go wrong with any other cameras? Heck no. What I chose two, three years ago, I did my research, I jumped on board the Sony A7 III. This camera has been a rock for years. This camera works awesome in my workflow. It is nice, it's light, got the flexible screen on the back. So basically when I'm shooting, I'm framing something up this way. I just look down at the shot. I look at the composition here. I actually don't use the viewfinder anymore. I use the rule of thirds on here. I get all my lines nice and vertical. Love this camera. It works great. Um, Sony just announced the newer camera. It is better, yes. Do you need it? No, there are so many cameras that are gonna do the job to get you the shots you need in your real estate photography business. To program all the buttons. What I'm using is a really wide angle lens and I can program any buttons. There's C1, C2, but on the back, I use the delete button. When I'm shooting, the delete button changes this to a 1.6 crop factor. So my lens right here, I get that extra zoom. I don't have to put another lens. If I want to do a detailed shot, I can do that. It is so sweet that way. It is nice, it is small, it is lightweight. Another thing I use with it is an L bracket. What is an L bracket, you say? Well, you can do vertical, horizontal, just like that, pop it back on the plate very quick. What else do I love about it? It is, of course, a full frame. Larger frame means more light. So when you're doing darker areas, darker interiors, more light in the full frame helps. It has stabilization in the camera. So beyond this, sometimes you'll be asked to uh, photograph a realtor or a client. Right on the fly, you could do it. What else is awesome with the A7 III and these newer cameras? They have eye autofocus. If you're shooting a person, you lock it on every time, you've got perfect focus. I love the grip, it's just the right size. Not too big, not too small. Excellent, awesome autofocus system. I rarely have an out of focus photo. It's more because of user error than the camera. It nails it every time. It has a large collection of lenses available for it. Uh, my go-to, I love the wide angle, so you're either gonna go 12 to 24, 16 to 35. Detail shots, I love the nifty 50, so a 50 millimeter, I love doing that. And if you're gonna get into portraits and stuff, you wanna get up to an 85 millimeter. If you're doing the odd headshot as part of your business, and then if you're just using it recreationally, you have all the zooms. Another feature I really love, it's got the plus minus EV dial right here. So if you're shooting a scene, instead of going into the menus and trying to find everything, you need it brighter, you need it darker, you're shooting against a window, you can just dial it down, look in here, you're gonna see exactly what you got. It saves you so much time. Another thing I also use, there's the one and two. So that's your settings. So what I use one for is interiors. I set my settings to all of my interior settings. It's locked. Setting number two is my exteriors. So I just switch back and forth and it's locked into place as a user-defined setting in here. That is all the pros. So like this recording video, I can I only flip it up and down. You know, let me turn it here. Flip it up and down. Would be nice if you flip it sideways if you're doing video or something you could see yourself. Not a deal breaker, but something. Some cameras you can flip it right up. Another thing with the newer cameras, the competition has better screens on here, more colors. And the biggest gripe over these cameras, the Sony, I hope they get better as time goes on, but their menu system is very confusing and it's hard to find things. Over time, you get better at it. But beyond that, it's doable. Once you set the menus, you hardly ever change anything. I love the a Sony 3. The video you're watching right now is also on an a7 III. So that is my video camera too. Uh, I know for video, it shoots 4K, it shoots interiors, exteriors, 
just awesomely. Honestly, this is a rock. And with the new one out, there will be more of these on the market that are used, and that's probably what I'll just stick to. This will be my standard for my business. If you found this useful, there are product links below on this product. You can also find the other products I also use day to day in my business. And if you really like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment below, what's your favorite camera? What do you love to use? Why do you like it better than say the Sony? And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask. For future tutorials and more about real estate photography, videography, drone, everything, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell. With that, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.